Well, welcome back, everybody. We know old homes are full of history stories, sometimes even a treasure. This morning, Mike Randall's looking at one of Buffalo's oldest homes, giving us a first look at the treasures going on sale today. This big old Victorian structure was most recently an assisted living facility. Originally, we started in 1868. That was on Maryland and 7th. It was called Home of the Friendless. Bob Gaughan, assistant administrator at Bristol Village, knows the history here. Property was purchased in 1884, modified 1886, take it over, and we've uh, you know had it ever ever since. Charmaine then knows all about the contents of the home. They used to play the, the 78s on the Victrola, and they would dance in here. Everything upstairs and everything in the basement. But I want to show you this because this is really cool. That's because Charmaine, who heads up Edna Louise Estate and household liquidations. Look at her cameo and, and the features. That's definitely 1800s. Has spent the last two weeks looking over and putting price tags on everything. I mean, this is a very large sale in a large place. There's over 18 rooms for people to go into and look. We were finding artwork, oil paintings, portraits, watercolors. And there's a lot of stuff here. Furniture, collectibles, and... Everything's for sale, Mike. Everything. And everywhere you turn, more stuff. So people are going to love coming in here and digging and seeing what they can find. Charmaine says she's been doing this kind of work since 1996 and never gets tired of it. You know, I've always been a history buff. I've always loved antiques. I love art objects. When the serious buyers and looky-loos come through over the next three days... Look at the old barber chair. Charmaine thinks they'll get a kick out of all the things here. Well, the sale starts tomorrow. Everything must go, including these hair dryers. Who couldn't use one of these, right? Can you hear me now? Charmaine says some of her favorite items are the paintings. A lot of these portraits were done by residents that lived here, and they really just speak volumes when you look into the eyes of some of these portraits. And while there is no decision yet about what will become of this large home, there's no doubt there will be plenty of traffic here Thursday through Saturday. There's a lot of good stuff here. I mean, <laughs> you gotta, yeah, and it's all reasonably priced. In Buffalo, Mike Randall, 7 Eyewitness News.